Hello once again audiences, I'm Ethan Nader 138 and welcome back to another episode of Rayman 3. We're gonna take out this enemy here. So anyway, last episode, uh, Andre is trying to take over the world by destroying the heart of the world. He's trying to destroy the world. So yeah. But last video, I'm gonna bring up a lot of stuff I said last video because uh, I'm, I'm a learning commentator. I'm still fairly new to this. A lot early, the early days of my channel, I used to do gaming views, but that was like, I was like 13 when I did those videos, I think. I was younger. Uh, I'm, I'm learning how to do this correctly the right way. I want to do this effectively and well. That way you guys find it entertaining, you guys should watch the videos, you know, it'd be really fun. We're going on a happy adventure together. So yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to bring up a lot of stuff I said in the last video. I'm going to say more stuff about the game. So, yeah. And immediately, I've already forgotten what I'm about to say, so yeah, that's pretty cool. This game, when I was a kid and I was playing it, it was pretty... It was pretty good, you know? I just thought the first part of this game was pretty... This is the, like, basically the tutorial level. Basically, this first beginning part. The first world is the tutorial level. We're still in the tutorial level. That's what we're doing. And, uh... Freaking... Not Fry from Futurama over here is telling us what to do. And I'm gonna be quiet whenever there's a cutscene, or whenever our character's talking, because I want you guys to hear the funny... Funny Dudley dialogue. Ooh, slippery. Yeah, there's also, like, secret lo- secret- what I meant by, in the last video, secret areas. There's, like, literal rooms you can find in the game with loads of gems in them, which give you lots of points. And that's how you 100% the game. I'm not gonna be 100% the game, though, of course, but I will do the best of my ability to do- oh. I would if you weren't so rudely interrupting me. Jerk. You should die. You should go eat eggs. You should go teach your grandmother to suck eggs. But yeah. I will do to the best of my ability to beat this game as much as possible. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna. And I don't wanna be. Because. Saying what was happening on screen, I learned, is the worst kind of commentary you can give. So you want to not do that. So I'm still learning on how to do this correctly. I just thought it'd be fun to do this. I'm playing... I thought I'd play Rayman 3 because that's a game I thought I could learn how to do this well. Oh, damn it, I couldn't make it. Alright, I'm just going to go back up here. I miss old platformers that were designed this way, where you go through levels and you, you play through, like, as if you're on a journey. I mean, I know that's what Mario 64 was, you play through levels, but, like, oh, come on. But Mario 64 was like, you had a, a main hub world and multiple other hub worlds. You go to that hub world and each level is like a different set, like, requirement you do. And, uh, this game is like you're going on a sort of journey, and I, I like games like that. Soundbite is so digitized, I guess. <laughs> is that the word? What's the word for like a sound sounding so distorted through the. like in a game? You really hear it in PS1 games. Just old games in general. And I guess new games don't have that because, like, I don't know. 
better technology. Whoa, I could see through the world for a second. And that guy got crushed. <laughs> I like this game. It has when you when you when you kill an enemy, it goes. It goes. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. So we need to go stop the evil. And yeah, this isn't really a secret, but it's kind of it's kind of a secret. You want to get all the gems. And I like collecting in games, but, like, oh, uh, wasn't collecting in games considered a, like, bad thing in games? Like, weren't the Banjo Kazooie games considered bad because they were uh, mostly about, it was like a collectathon at some point? I don't know why that would seem bad. I mean, collecting things in games is oh, oh, the, I'm act, are actually kind of like fun. I don't know what you what you guys are talking about. Maybe I just thought that at some point. In my life. I don't know. When I was a kid, I thought oh, those games are terrible because you're collecting things. Oh no! Glow box! Don't you know you're supposed to keep your mouth shut while hanging out of the window of the car? Oh great! That's not good. Level skill at 51%. Next bonus level in 2,431 points. Oh yeah, the bonus levels too. Those are gonna, the way those are gonna work is that they're gonna be like, between the beginning and ending of the worlds. Uh, it's gonna be mainly the beginning of the game though. There will be secret levels that you get access to at the end of each world. But it won't happen like later on. The You'll scale, you guys will see. Ooh. Look at this groovy music, ooh. Hey, gay, oh, it's the Tsetsis. Everyone loves the Tsetsis. They're so goofy. Dancing turtles. Shut up. <laughs> that line is so bad. I swear. That line is so bad. Because one game never actually happened. I mean, it kind of happens, but it was. It was different. It was like Raymond Raving Rabbits, but no one really likes that game. Except for, like, some people. I probably would like it. <laughs> Look at this giant egg coconut thing. Alright. So, one secret room I do know is here, is that you go up here, and you jump up here, and I can't control again. Alright, so you go, and switch over here, and voila, there's a secret passage! And you go in here, and you got this super colorful craziness, and it's so glitchy, my camera's glitching out, and there's a green gem, the most... The most uh, expensive of gems. Yeah, that gives us a whopping 6,000 points. So, yeah, now we're gonna go to the next thing. Level score 100%. And these are the, the special levels, stages that I talked about right here. The, uh, the groovy uh, disco music. <laughs> yeah! I love these levels because they're challenging and fun. And there's an achievement on the Xbox where you do all of them without dying. I will not be getting that achievement because these get pretty difficult later on. But yeah, I will try my best two ability and I will try not to die on them. 
I just almost died there. Already, wow. It's James. So yeah, I, I like this game. If it's definitely a game I would recommend to a lot of people. If you have like, because this is actually a remade version of the game, sort of revamped anyway. It's a, it's a like the original game was on the Xbox. Uh, original Xbox, GameCube, and PS2. So if you have any of those consoles, then go ahead and buy the original. Or if you just, you want the, I, I guess recommend the HD remade versions on the 360 and uh, PS3. Those are the best versions of this game possible. And I died. I almost did it without dying. I was doing pretty good there. This is the easiest one, though, so I guess... But yeah. I'm doing pretty good here. Better than I thought I would do. Oh, crap. Yeah, these, this... These, this, uh, Rayman game is very different from the other Rayman games. On terms of, like... Damn, I keep screwing up. On terms of, like... Because the Rayman games always have that certain point where they... They go really dark. Like, what I mean by that is that they get kind of, like, scary, kind of darkish sort of thing. Of course, the, first, the darkness of the first Rayman game was how difficult it was. You had to 100% it just to beat it. I've never played the first Rayman, but I, I don't want to ever because it's just difficult. It's a good game, but completing it is just absolute horse crap. Yeah, level score 100%. We got everything in that level. I will see you guys in...